Ava la candarus tere under a polundra bella candra be unda and the yata la candra bosta and the yasta candra bosta and the candle candra biosta and the bunda lea triasta reala and the bumba a second rebusher ababa. Little other and the bunda la candra brosta and the reala candra bunda riasta and the bunda and the macala cambiastria or under bushera ababa. Abba Father, your name Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father, who you are. All the glory to you, your name alone. Glory Glorified. Mighty God, in this moment, I'm sending out the message towards your sons and daughters all around the world. I would like to talk about the attitude of a followers of Yeshua, which is obedience. Mighty God, pour out the Holy Spirit, give it to me wisdom and knowledge. Only let me tell the, only the truth. And pour out the Holy Spirit, whosoever watching this video, your sons and daughters all around the world, their name in the book of life in heaven, chosen one, elected one, let them see, let them listen, what Holy Spirit speak to them. Father, from the beginnings to the end, covered with the precious blood of Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua, I do pray, Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Shalom, my name is Sonham. In this video, I would like to talk about the attitude of followers of Yeshua, which is obedience. The attitude of followers of Yeshua, obedience, Yeshua coming, obedience, none, entomology, Chinese character, Sunjong, obedience, verb, to obey, related vocabulary, antonym, disobedience, obey, none, entomology, Chinese character, Bokjong, to obey someone else's word, will, or order. Obedience is a form of a social influence in the human behavior and which a person surrenders to explicit instructions or orders from an authority. Authority. It is also called obedience. Sunjong. As a synonym, synonym, obedience is generally distinguished from compliance, which is an act of mutual influence, and conformity, which is an act of agreeing with the majority. Majority, depending on the contact, it can be seen as moral, immoral, or supermoral. Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1 to 31. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning one day. Then God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. God made the expanse and separated the waters which were below the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse, and it was so. God called the expanse heaven, and there was evening and there was morning, a second day. Then God said, Let the waters below the heavens be gathered into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the gathering of the waters he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth sprout, sprout the vegetation, plants, yieldings, seed, and the fruit trees 
on the earth bearing fruit after their kind with the seed in them, and it was so. The earth brought forth vegetations, plants yielding seed after their kind, and the trees bearing fruits with the seed in them. After their kind, and God saw that it was good. There was evening, and there was morning, a third day. Then God said, "Let there be light in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth." And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light. To govern the day, and the lesser light to govern the night. He made the stars also. God placed them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, and to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was morning. A fourth day, then God said, "Let the waters dim, dim, with swarm swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth in the open expanse of the heavens." God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, which, with which the waters. Swarms after their kind, and every winged bird after its kind, and God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, "Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth." There was evening, and there was morning. A fifth day, then God said, "Let the earth bring forth the living creatures, after their kind, the cattle and the creeping things and the beast of the earth, after their kind." And it was so. God made the beast of the earth after their kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creeps on the grounds after its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, "Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth." God created a man in His own image. In the image of God, He created him. Male and female, He created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, "Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth." Then God said, "Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth, and every tree which have fruit yielding seed. It shall be food for you, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the sky, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life." I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw all that He had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Matthew twenty-eight sixteen to twenty. But the eleven disciples proceeded to Galilee. To the mountain which Yeshua had des- designated, when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some were doubtful, and Yeshua came up and spoke to them, saying, "All authority has been given to me, in the heaven and on earth. 
Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Yahweh and the Son, Yeshua and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and I am with you always, even to the end of the age. There is a difference between obedience and obey. Obedience is to obey obediently, and obey is to follow other people's orders or intentions as they are. Looking at that today, looking at the dandelion, that it is fulfilling its role no matter if it is plucked or is plucked out. I learned that this small dandelion is also doing the work of obedience commanded and directed by God. In Genesis 1, God commanded by word, created all plants, animals, and humans. Genesis 1, 21 to 25. God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves, which which the waters swamped after their kind, and every winged bird after its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. There was evening and there was morning a fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after their kind. Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after their kind, cattle and the creeping things and the beasts of the, of the earth after their kind. And it was so. God made the beasts of this earth after their kind and the cattle after their kind and everything that creeps on the grounds after its kind and God saw that it was good. I came to know that this little dandelion is also faithful to its own life and obeys the word of God in silence. Those who love God, the fear God, know God's existence and obey God's commands. Even this small dandelion obey the commands of the Creator who created all the plants, animals, and humans in the world with faith and love. No matter what the homework is given in each life in the form of yourself, a human being who was made very mysteriously in the image of God, I pray that you will obey God and do obedience. I pray that you will obedience obey God and do the homework given in your life well on Yeshua. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, the creator of the universe, his name is Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua. Only God, that there is an other God. Other God is all demons. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I saw the dandelion. I tried to the pick, I tried to the remove and get rid of it, but even one small little dandelion, still it is ready for spreading their seed. So I learn something through this small little dandelion. Even it is just like one small little dandelion. Even it is obedience from God command and try to it is multiply and fruitful. So in this moment I would like to talk about obedience about God. Whosoever Whosoever love God, fear God, and know about the God's existence and obey God's command, and even small little dandelion, it is obeys God's commandment. And especially as a human, we are all created by God with all His own image, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, and we are all came from heaven. Heaven is location is at the end of the universe. Hell location is under our feet. And whosoever came to this world, small little baby, which is a boy or girl, 
It is escorted by holy guardian angels from heaven. They belong to heaven. So, at least two guardian angels. It is escorted by for small little boy or girls coming into the earth. Guardian angels will watch you and report to who, report to whatever you've done in this earth to God Almighty, Creator of Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. And our image is different than squirrel. Our image is different than tomato, tomato, or our image is different than rabbit, bunny. Our image as a human, our image is, it is created by Creator of Universe, God Almighty, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, His own image, very, very mysteriously. We created it, created by creator of the universe Yahweh Holy Spirit Yeshua his own image and we are spiritual being in our heart our next to our heart we have a soul it is invisible by source size value and it is weight every single individual people is equal Soul size, soul weight, and soul value. But quality of the soul is every single individual people is different. So it will, God Almighty, even now, it is calculated about the value of each individual people's soul. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, especially small little, even dandelion, it is obedience, God command, and be ready. It is for the multiply. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, every single individual people in this earth, we are very preciously, it is mysteriously, it is created by Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, His own image. Remember, we are not tomato, we are not the rabbit, we are not the squirrel, we are human. So, Every single individual's people in this earth is valuable in front of God Almighty. So we have a homework. We we all born in this earth. We are all came from the came from the heaven. Came from the heaven with the own purpose of the Creator of the Universe, God Almighty. Every single individual people, your face colors, your language, wherever you're living in this earth, it doesn't really matter. Gender doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter. Skin color doesn't matter. Which kind of the language you speak, it doesn't matter. Which kind of the country you belong to, it doesn't matter. We are human and we are created by Creator of the Universe, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, with His own image. We have a soul. We, have a, we are spiritual beings. Every single individual people's God Almighty has a purpose and which I could say homework to do, whatever you have to do in this earth. Whatever you do, there is a word in heaven. So I already mentioned about that. Whatever you do in this earth, there is a word in heaven. And whatever you have to do, any kind of the homework, you obedience to whatever you have to do, do well in this world. And when the time is come, we are isolated with the soul and body. Heaven location is at the end of the universe. It is escorted by, it is a holy angels, or directly you go up to the heaven. Until then, we have to live our life. It is obedience life. as as well as we are follower of the Yeshua Christ, we should obedience about God command. Live our life and live your life. It is obedience. It is especially Almighty Heavenly Father's best interest is save the soul. So send the message out, Yeshua Christ, to the world. This is the most important things to do. And whatever is what you do in this earth, homework, whatever you do, do well. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua is a real God. He is a real God. He's a creation, destruction, salvation, knowing, knowledge, and experiencing. His name, there is a great spiritual power and authority and ability. 
in the name of Yeshua and blood of Yeshua. And he promised with us until the end of the ages, I will be with you. And he promised be with you, with us. I'm coming very soon. Creator of the universe, Yahweh Holy Spirit, Yeshua, he knows about from the beginning to the end. He is Alpha and Omega. He knows about yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He doesn't have any problem about the space, ma space matter and time matter at all. He knows about everything. And he's coming back very, very soon. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, even in this moment, I learned from the small little dandelion about the obedience, and I'd like to share with you about the obedience. Whosoever following the Yeshua Christ, it is a best, it is a very important attitude to suppose that we have have obedience with the love and with the respect, with the love of God. And with the love of God and the fear of God and the know God existence, and we should obey God's command. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, like small little dandelion, even tiny small little dandelion, this dandelion obey and love God, fear God, know about the God existence, and obey about the God commandment. Multiply everywhere brothers and sisters in yeshua christ as a true believer yeshua is a true god and the true believers yeshua is a king of king lord of lord alpha and omega and he is he is lamb of god he's eternal bridegroom and as a true bride of yeshua as a true son and daughter of god truly truly obedience follow the rules and commands of the creator of the universe yahweh holy spirit yeshua no matter what your homework is given in this earth and do your homework really really well in the name of yeshua there is a word in heaven brothers and sisters in yeshua christ truly truly i pray for you whatever you do whatever you have to do under the purpose of the God Almighty, you created it by Creator of the Universe, Yahweh Holy Spirit, Yeshua, mysteriously. And do your homework well in this earth until the end of the, your last breath and until it is a holy angels will escort it in you or directly is going up to the heaven. Yeshua is a really... Yeshua is God, and His promise be with us, coming back very, very soon. And all the evidence is out there, and His coming very, very soon. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I truly, truly pray in this moment, truly, truly be uh, obedience, obedience the sons and daughters of God, with the love of God and fear of God and truly knows about the existence of God Almighty with total respect and it is we should obey God's commands. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Yeshua is coming very, very soon and all the signs and wonders out there, especially look up the sky. Look up the sky and you must know that this, this fact. Number one, the cloud is coming down to the earth. Number two, every single day you can see the super moon and super sun. Number three, you can see pink sky. Number four, chemtrail, C-H-E-M-T-L-A-I-L spreading all around the world as like a crazy. Number five, the moon is round and round. It is a spinning. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, you be ready yourself to be raptured with the holiness Shalom.